I'm the hare, the fastest animal in the forest. If there's a race, a relay, any kind of competition, I'm the winner, I'm the best. And I'm the tortoise. She's I'm... really slow and talks so slowly and she never wins anything. I have way more fun than she does. That's not true. I have lots of fun. How can you have fun if you never win anything? Winning is the best part of everything. I'll prove it to you. We'll have a race and I'll win and you won't and you won't have as much fun. How's that for a plan? You want to race with me? I want to win a race! Well, I haven't done something like that in a long time. Trying new things can be lots of fun. Sure, hair, I'll give it a try. We'll race right here. We'll have a nice long road to run on. We just need someone to start the race to make it official and tell me when I win. Okay, official, tell us when to start. Ready, set, go. Buzzing. Hey, it's one of my 55 children sending me a text. Oh, they sent me a picture. I should send them one too. Okay, I should send them one of me winning. Winner! Hey, nice one, Tor Tortoise. Tortoise, wait a minute. How did she catch up so fast? Ah! Whew, how'd she catch up so fast? Well, I really left her in the dust that time. Ooh, wild carrots, they look delicious. Mmm, I'll have a snack. Those mm. do look good, Hare. Yeah, yeah, they are, Tortoise. Hey, hey wait a minute. Whew, how does she keep doing that? Well, she's miles behind now, and I'm really getting tired. All that sprinting is making me so tired. I think I'll go back here and take a little nap. She'll never catch up. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Hey, that's funny. I don't see hair. She's supposed to be in front of me, but I see the finish line and I hear Giraffe. She's cheering go, for tortoise, me. Go, Tortoise, go. Go, Tortoise, go. I think I'm about to win. Go, Tortoise. I think I just go, won. Tortoise. You did. You did. I can't believe it. You won. How did I do that, Hair? But I had a lot of fun. I think I'm going to keep running. You want to race some more? Maybe if friends like you want to, but really I just like the exercise, the fresh air, being outside. I think I'm just going to keep on running. Keep on running, keep on running, keep on running. I am a reptile. I'm a mammal. In our story, you heard me talk about my 55 children. Mammals give birth to live young. Most of us take care of our babies too. So most reptiles, we don't take care of our young. Some crocodilian species do and other species as well, but most of us just lay our eggs and walk away. Our babies hatch out small, but completely capable of taking care of themselves. Our babies are born pretty defenseless and they need their parents' help to survive. We even feed them. Mammals provide milk for their babies and we make sure they stay safe and warm. You provide milk, like you make milk? Okay, yeah, reptiles don't, don't do the milk thing. 
and we couldn't keep our young warm if we wanted to. Reptiles are a cold are cold blooded. We can't regulate our own temperature. So when it's hot outside, we get hot, and when it's cold outside, we get cold. So, and the cold in particular really slows us down. It's part of the reason why so many of us hibernate through the winter. Some mammals hibernate too, but that's mostly because finding food in the winter is hard because we can definitely control our body temperature. We're warm blooded. Most of us also have fur or hair that help with that too. Reptiles do not have fur or hair. Most of us have scales and some of us like snakes can shed our own skin. Mammals cannot shed their skin. Most of us shed our fur or our hair, depending on the season, but that's completely different. A lot of mammals have defenses though, claws, teeth, and more. Porcupines have quills, skunks have stinky glands, armadillos and pangolins have armor, and the list goes on. Ah, lots of reptiles have that stuff too. We have venomous snakes and Komodo dragons, and lots of reptiles also have sharp claws. And turtles and tortoises like me have shells, but our spines are part of our shells. Our backbones are in our shells. So while they help give us protection, if our shells get hurt, it's, it's bad news. It's probably also not good for the armadillo. The lesson from this probably is, if you see a wild animal somewhere, it's cool to watch it from a distance, but leave it alone. Don't touch it. That will keep things safe for you and the animal. That's probably a good idea, Hare. So for our story today, the hare, Miss Cindy and I, we took a classic story of the tortoise and the hare and we made up a script to make a little play out of it. And it was a lot of fun. Taking classic stories and changing them around is a great way to make a story your own. But it's also a lot of fun to make stories from scratch. So in your programming bag this month, you'll see that we included a roll a story game. All you need is that paper and a dice that's also in your bag to create something from scratch to get the creative juices rolling. You can play it once, you can play it a bunch of times, and you can change it up however you want. There's no wrong way to write a story. And we'd love to see your end product. If you'd like to take a picture of it and send it to us, you can share it on our Facebook page or you can email it to us. Our email address is in your programming bag. We'd love to see it. Thanks for joining us today. Happy playing. Bye.